Hi, thank you so much for your interest in VoicePing. I'll be giving you a quick run through of the trial accounts and how to use them. If you've already logged in, you can log out by clicking on the button to the left of the three dots menu icon. So that's right here. Just click on that. Yes. And you're logged out of the public channel. Now, logging in is pretty simple as well. You should have already received your trial accounts by email and the email will look something like this. It'll have instructions for you to log in as well as the username and passwords. Now, let me show you how to log in with this sample account. So first open the app and then click on login on the top right corner of the screen. Next, fill in the given username, which will follow this format. Okay, so that's two digits first, followed by at, the at symbol, and then five digits, followed by dot VP. That's 12 at 11409.vp. The first two digits are the unique user ID. The following five digits are the channel ID. Once you fill them in, enter the password below. Then sign in. After you log in, it'll automatically enter this auto-created group. For the trial, you will have this auto-created group with the same name as your channel ID. So as you can see, it's also 11105.vp. To send a message through the PTT function, just press the microphone icon, speak, and then release it when you want to send your message. Testing. And of course, there was no one to hear us. So let me try log in with the web PTT so you can hear the message come through. To log in on the web PTT, just open web.voiceoverping.net on your browser. Type in the username and the password. So let's try log in with 12. And the password. Now, if you can see my screen, you can think of these as two different users. User 12 is the user on the web PTT, and user 13 here on the right is the user on his own device. Now that I've logged in, let me send a PTT message again so you can hear it come through. Hello. Hello. Testing. Hello. Testing. Testing. If you heard that, that was user 12 receiving the message. User 12 got the message because user 12 is also part of the group that user 13 is sending the message to. Everyone in this group will get the message. Remember, users 12 and 13 are both admin light users, so they can check the location of other members and make new groups. If you want to create a new group, just click on the search icon right here, click a new group, enter the name for the new group. We recommend starting the group names with 01, 02, 03, and so on, because that'll make it easier for you to search for them. Let's call this new group 01 Red Team. Once you have the name, just pick who you want in the group. Let's have Sam and Jane in the group. And then click Create. And just like that, you have a new group. You can add and remove members just as easily. Just go to the group, click on the group name, and then click on Remove for whoever you want out of the group. To add someone to the group, just click on the plus icon and then add. To do it on Android, 
go to the plus icon or the add icon, which will be this one. And then click on the plus icon again. And then you'll be prompted to enter a group name and to add members. To track the location of other users, click on the map icon on the top right part of the screen. It's the icon right before the menu icon. When you do that, you'll see a map with all the other active users. So as you can see, you can see Sam on the map, which is this user. It's pretty accurate. And then if you want to search for other users, just type their username on the search box right here. You can also do that on WebPTT. Just click on the map icon right before the search icon and log out icons. And then a map will appear. So as you can see, you can see 13, user 13, and user 14. This tracking feature is also only available to dispatch and admin light users. For the purpose of the trial, users 12 and 13 are admin light users and users 14 and 15 are regular users. You can try login with 14 and 15 as well. They have the same password, just change the user ID when you log in. So let me try login with users 14 and 15 for you. Let me log out with this user. And let me log in with user 14. So user 14, same channel ID, same password. Now that I've logged in as a regular user, as you can see, no matter how many times I click on the map icon, I don't have the ability to track other users. Let me try log in as a regular user on WebPTT. I'll be logging in with 15, who is also a regular user. As you can see, user 15 doesn't have the ability to track other users. The map icon to track other users isn't here. So that pretty much concludes all the main features of these accounts. To log in, remember to enter the name that corresponds to the user at the username box and the account number in the box below. You can select the group by typing in the group name in the search box or scrolling through the users. And lastly, hold the PTT button down when you want to speak and release it when you want to send the message. It's that simple and straightforward.